Good morning, siblings. Me and Charlie have had the worst morning, but we are here now filming a video for you guys. We're gonna go get coffee and do some Uber Eats and do a little drive with me. So just hang out with us and have a good time. Oh, perfect. Oh, there we go. We are gonna kind of talk. We're waiting on our first order to come in. Let's keep the air on a little bit so I don't die of heat because I'm wearing a hoodie and it's hot outside. I asked you guys to ask us questions on Instagram while we drive around and whatnot. So what are our summer plans? Um, I don't think we have a single <laughs> summer plan. We're gonna grind, grind, grind. <laughs> We're gonna make videos and make money. Yeah. We might go visit my mom at the end of May. Kinda wanna try to catch some concerts. Yes, okay, since we live like in Houston, if there's like concerts, if we wait till last minute, then they'll go up for cheap and then we can go to concerts for cheap. So we're kinda thinking that, and that's why we're like, we'll do Uber Eats to make extra money so we can go on these trips and like go to concerts and stuff. Oh yeah, a big idea was doing Uber Eats so that way I can be free of like a yeah. schedule and if we Uber Eats, we can like have a three day, four day weekend uh, on a trip to Austin or to San Antonio yes. and we work one of those days in that area and then the rest of the trip pays for itself. Yeah, so, so that's what we're gonna try to do but also with these gas prices, like is it even worth it? That's what we're trying to figure out right now. We also kind of missed the lunch rush because we took forever so <laughs> we'll talk about it later. I also might be saving up to go to California at the end of the summer for my sister's 21st birthday. Yes. So that's And my stepsister um, on my dad's side, Nicole, she lives in California. So I might try to see if I can go visit her and see where she lives at the same time. And then, yeah. Anyway. Other than that, day to day, just grind, grind, grind. Yeah. <laughs> I, I yeah. say that to make fun of her. Anyways. Um, I'm like over here like a green Grind, animal. grind, grind. Gym. <laughs> And yeah, we've been going to the gym every day since she's been here. And it's been super exciting. I'm on like my fourth week of consistent gym going. Gym, maybe beach, maybe beach, yes, pool Galveston. days. Maybe. Oh, once the, well, I think the pool might actually be open. But once it's hot enough to go to the pool, we'll be at the pool a lot. Yeah. So just let us know what kind of stuff you guys want to see in the vlogs. I'm planning on just vlogging a little bit every day and continuing to do these like little weekly vlogs. Cool. <laughs> um... Oh, a lot of people are asking for an update about my Valentine's Day. <laughs> Spicy. Um, things are going good. We're still kind of hanging, so that's all I'll say. I'm keeping things like very low key with my dating life or whatever. So, I don't know. Part of me was like, what if I just never tell them I have a boyfriend until I like get engaged one day? But then Charlie was like, mm, you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> so Charlie keeps me grounded for my crazy ideas, but um, I'll let I'll let you guys know, or I won't. What about you, Charlie? How's your dating life? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. You know, we're most we're good. It's a little bit difficult. Any you know deployment. Mm -hmm. Anybody who knows anybody on a deployment, you know, it can be starting to get difficult. Yeah. But, I mean, at the end of the day, I love him. Not only long distance, we're but good. also adding in the like military aspect, it yeah. can be a lot on a relationship. But, but I don't want that to be like. Oh, they're having real issues. No, yeah, no. You know. I think it's good to be honest, though, and be like, it is hard sometimes. Yeah. Struggle yeah. bus. Yeah. But I'm here. Yeah. No, we're <laughs> good. We're good. He loves me. I love him. We're yeah. doing good. It's just a little hard to communicate. That's Cute. It. Yeah. But that's life. You'll get through it. My advice. That's life. Suck it up. <laughs> oh, I know where we are. Yeah. Yeah. I'm probably going to cut that out so they don't know where we live. Oh, true. <laughs> I forgot about that. So far, what is your favorite day at the gym? Like... Back and thighs, tries and chest or legs. You know, I I dread leg day the most. I hurt from leg day the most. Yeah. But it's leg day. Just, That's leg day. You know, it's, it's a love hate relationship. Yeah. I think my favorite is probably back and thighs because I just feel so strong, powerful doing that. But then I also love leg day. But like you said, I kind of dread it. Like today, we're going to do leg day tonight, and we're both kind of like, ugh. But it's gonna be a banger, so. Yeah. I think I need to add like a core day into my routine. Yeah, we, we should probably days. add like a more cardio based day, like cardio and core. Yeah, like I know every yeah. exercise you do should be based in your core and you should be using your core, but yeah. I really do think that my core is so weak. Uh, literally same. All right, we'll, we'll keep you guys in touch with our workout schedule and everything. I'm making like a whole 90 day video, so. Stay tuned, maybe I'll do little updates in the weekly vlogs. What's the most inspiring thing that has happened to you since the new year? Ooh, nothing. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. 
No, but really. Well, I have my baptism day set, so that's really exciting, but that, I guess, doesn't happen yet. But I guess just growing my relationship with God, and then also having Charlie move in. I don't know if that's like inspiring. I, I think know. it definitely gets you out of the house. Question. It gets you in a routine. Yeah. I mean, and it brings you a friend. Because I was going to say, probably moving you would say it's um, gotten me off my butt, honestly. Like, I was yeah. kind of in a rut. I kind of was too, so it's kind of perfect. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be deep. It's just like, yeah, it motivated yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll just leave it at that. No, it's only been like a week, but has it even been a week? It hasn't even been a week yet. But what's the hardest thing so far about having your best friend become your roommate? Hardest? Yeah. I don't think that it's hard because I think we're both pretty good at it. But just knowing, really it's about knowing that you have to set a boundary like... Time alone. Right. Yeah. And We were literally talking about this yesterday. Yeah, and it's not that it's hard. It's just we should bring this up. Yeah. I think sometimes like, it's hard to be like, oh, we can both be in our rooms. We don't have to be hanging. And we also don't have to feel bad that we're not hanging. Yeah. Because I think we both kind of have that. Because we're both kind of like outgoing and like hanging out. And so we both like, like hosting. Yeah, we both like <laughs> hosting. So it's like. Because like I like, yeah. I like being a good, um, what's it called, visitor. Yeah. And she likes being a good hoster. And like if, whenever we were swift, she, yeah. she was living with me. It was yeah. the same thing. But now it's like. This is just as much your apartment as it is my apartment. Yeah. And I think it's just kind of weird to adjust to. Yeah. And then, like, finding that balance of, like, let's hang and, like, watch a show together, do this together. But then also, like, hey, we both still need our alone time. I think it's just, like, a part of the process of moving in with anyone. And I think that it's easier being my best friend because we're not afraid to, like, say something hard if we would need to to each other like from the beginning we were like okay just this is how it's gonna be and then on the last video well i don't know what order this video is coming out yeah. but on the video where i moved in there was some comments about like oh we'll see how this goes moving in with your friend is like not a good idea oh i didn't and even I read the comments <laughs> <laughs> i just want to say like i've had random roommates before that became people that i can't imagine living without yeah like, grab the camera <laughs> i actually know exactly <laughs> Anyway, and I also think that I've lived with people my whole life, whether, you know, you know, people live with their family, that's yeah. besides the point, yeah. but like, <laughs> I went from living with my sisters to my boy, to my roommates, to my boyfriend, fiance, who's like, going to be my husband. Yeah. So, I mean, it's all about, you yeah. know, communication. I think it's just like, communication is so important, and just because you live together doesn't mean you stop putting in like, the effort that you would. For a friend when you wouldn't live together yeah i think it also helps like we became friends by me moving into her yeah. house <laughs> yeah. so like that's how we met and like i think that kind of oh we got some kids waving at us from their van hi buddies <laughs> that's so cute and we're like vlogging <laughs> <laughs> okay well now that i know this is like a hot topic i guess we could talk about it a little more i was like oh i i, I read the comments <laughs> when i first posted it but i usually only read them for the first like 30 minutes so that i avoid hate because gotta take care of my mental health Period. Um, if anyone could be best friends and live together, it would be me and Charlie because we're both very good at setting boundaries and having to deal with difficult situations and difficult people. And like even in our friendship since we've been friends, since I like first lived with you, we've had talks where it's like, hey, I feel like you're not being like, I feel like we could be there for each other more or whatever. Yeah. And I think we're kind of good at like dealing with those situations. Yeah, I remember the very <laughs> first time, like you don't even have to put this in, but I don't like me yeah. just talking to you. I remember the very first time that we kind of addressed something like that. You were like, hey, the other day I was picking on you with a board game and yeah. you kind of went to your room and I just want you to know that I wasn't being me. Yeah, because like, <laughs> I can overstep when I'm playing games. <laughs> yeah. Like even early on, like we had no problem just bringing yeah. it up. And yeah. I think it just comes with maturity. And yeah, I think so too. Respect for the relationship. That's what I think is also mm -hmm. rooted in. Like I don't want this to go bad. I think it also helps maybe that like, I, like with my ex, obviously we lived together, so I learned how to deal with those situations. Then obviously you lived with Juan until he got deployed, so you learned how to get through those situations in like an intimate relationship. And so it's like our friendship is kind of like that. Like not like a dating relationship, but like intense friendships kind of are in a way. Yeah. And so if you can learn how to deal with it within a relationship, I think you can learn how to deal with it within a friendship. Right. Um, and then also I will say like from the beginning, like literally first day she was in, I was like, so just so you know, don't ever be afraid to just like go be alone in your room and like we can just text each other if we want to hang. We don't have to be like bang banging on each other's door, bothering each other. Or like if something's wrong, let's just talk about it. Let's just have open communication. It there needs to there doesn't need to be any like being mad at them behind their back. I think so I mean I know it's only been a week, but I think we've already dealt with some issues and it's been like perfectly fine. It's gonna be all good in the 
neighborhood. neighborhood. <laughs> okay, we just got our first order. I think I'm gonna pull you through. All right, pull it. My bestie, hard at work. Oh, I thought of this also with the living together thing is like every time we've hung out. Oh, she got the order. Period. Besides the time we live together, we haven't lived close enough by each other to not just spend the night. So we've like, every time we hang out, it's been like a sleepover, weekend, week long, two week long. So it's like, we've never just like not, we've never just like hung out, you know? Yeah. So it's like living together just honestly even just like makes sense. So I'm, I'm trying to give directions for Charlie for, wait, let me figure out where we are real quick. Sure. <laughs> okay, yeah, a turn left at this stop sign. Uh, and like we were in the parking lot going to the next one and I was like, yeah, turn left. And then we got, I was like, Ugh, never mind, we're gonna have to U-turn because we're supposed to go the other way. But like the directions are just so confusing and I'm dyslexic and I just don't understand. And then you'll turn right in a mile, but it's like, not like a right right, it's like that kind of right. Interesting. Like a 90 degree, not a 90 That's, degree angle because okay, that like would just be a normal right. Just a veer right? Yeah. Well, it might be more of a U-turn right. I don't know, it just looks weird. Oh, I see it. Oh, okay, I see. It's okay. like a 45 degree angle, like a cute. Yeah. Like it's a hard right. It's not even a soft right. It's a hard right. <laughs> There's a Red Bull truck. Like, do we need to go crash into it and then take all the Red Bulls? 100%. Even though they'll all be shaken up, it'll be worth it. All right, our first order, which was two orders of the day, complete. I was supposed to be at five, but I did that super awkward. <laughs> so something else, now that Charlie is up here, so I won't be alone, would be we were thinking about doing some sort of like meet and greet in Houston and we all just like go to like a park together or something like that. And then whenever we do go to like Austin, San Antonio, Dallas, sorry my camera's moving, uh, then we could like meet up with people like wherever we go. Comment down below if you'll come meet us. And then we were also talking about potentially opening a P.O. box, if that's something you guys want. I know some of you have been asking, but I'm like, should I open it, should I not? I don't know. So let me know if you guys would want me to open a P.O. box and you could send us stuff and we could just open it on camera. How's y'all's day today? Oh! Nice! 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 Okay. That's, well, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's like, my cat died, and we're like, nice! I know. I got it. He break it, H-U-B. So me and Charlie were thinking that whenever we do these like drive with us type of videos, we want it to be like talking and vibing. So give us like topics to talk about, almost like a podcast style. Like we get like stories or just like topics and then we can just like go off for like an hour and then I'll cut it down to like 10 or 15 minutes and make it super entertaining. So all right, we just finished our third order and hopefully they tip well because this was so far out of the way. And the neighborhood was nice. <laughs> nice neighborhood, so better tip. Alright, we're done with our Uber Eats, so that's gonna wrap up this video and us talking and hanging. This was an intro into what will come, so thanks for watching. Bye! Bye!